All right, Mike, the big question. If I'm an on-site manager and I'm looking to sell my property, what do I do to prepare my property, my complex for sale? Great question, because at the end of the day, Christine, what we are provided by you and the vendor it forms the basis of what we present to the bank. Mm -hmm. um, and the more information we've got, the better. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a valuer who's now retired in this industry that always said that uh, certainty equals value. Love him. And, and mm -hmm. we believe that is the case. So if I'm a vendor, and, and, and you know, I just put myself in the vendor's shoes, I'm going to provide as much information as I can to make my property look less risky than anything else on the market. If that means I've got to provide historical financial statements, I will. Mm -hmm. uh, if it means I've got to provide minutes of meetings showing that the body corporate love me, um, I will. Now, all of this information is readily available throughout the purchase process, mm -hmm. but providing it up front means that you start with, you know, on the front foot and with most strength, likely yeah. to attract uh, a, a, high, um, a high multiple. Mm -hmm. If you have been affected by COVID, um, then our advice is most certainly get three years numbers done mm -hmm. um, to demonstrate what the ongoing sustainable net profit of the business is. Mm -hmm. um, and if you've put uh, strategies in place um, to, I guess, COVID-proof your property, get those strategies out. Um, show, show buyers what you're doing about it. Mm -hmm. um, those are the key things. But buyers are nervous. Um, and they're nervous because they're hearing so much negative press. If you can allay those fears and that nervousness through you know, providing information, then as a vendor, I think that's the way to go. Mm -hmm.